<laughs> Welcome back to Plus Size Knitting. I'm Marley Bird. I'm excited to talk to you guys today about armholes because I think that is one of the number one things that we as plus size women need to be conscientious of, especially when you're choosing set in sleeve pieces to wear. We need to really be focused and vigilant at looking at the armhole circumference and at the armhole or at the crossback measurements of those pieces because those are the parts that are probably going to hinder um, the way the sweater fits on us the most. Unlike average size women, we tend to have bigger upper arms or bigger, broader ch um, chest and shoulders. So those are areas that we're able to tailor fit a little bit with our knitting. The tricky part about armholes is that there, there's a lot of little shaping that goes into, goes into them, coupled with the fact that you're gonna do a cap sleeve on something. When you mess around with the armhole, you have to mess around with the cap sleeve of a garment. It's just the way it is. If you can make it to where you don't change the armhole, it'll make it your life so much easier because you don't have to mess around with the set in cap sleeve. But I understand there are times you absolutely have to make those changes. That's why we took the measurements of our favorite sweater. When you have to make those changes, I want you to be able to do that. So I'm going to focus today on how you do an actual armhole, and I'm gonna give you the math to calculate and construct it. For more great tips, click the link.